but uh, yeah, I get what you say. You wouldn't want to wait around here for no. too long. Definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, certainly not with, uh, well, you never know what's uh, lurking in these trees, do you? Like the 37 Dice Cowboy Chili. Does. Yeah, I mean, you just had to go there. I, I did. I. Yeah, good morning everyone, it's Sunday, you know what that means, welcome along to Trains in World 3, your weekend, it starts right here. And uh, without further ado, I think it's time everyone that we go to the trains, don't you? Because uh, we have a question to ask you as we go to the Horseshoe Curve today, the penultimate run on the uh, Horseshoe Curve I do believe, and that question is, does wet coal burn? Take a full coal train over the challenging gradients of the Southport branch in heavy rain. So that's a very good question uh, for us to ask. Does wet coal burn? More to the point, why would we want wet coal to burn on our freight train? That just doesn't make sense. Hopefully Sheldon can uh, make sense of that question as well. Right, hold on. You have 60 full coal wagons, 6 locos and a 3% grade over the hill. The rear set had... Oh. My God, are we a six car hot shot today? This looks like a heavy train. Oh, this is gonna be a heavy train. Very, very heavy train, but we are going to answer a very important question. And that is? The first important question is, do you know it's Sunday? And the answer to that, you know what that means. Exactly, and the second question we're gonna ask you is the, the question of this scenario. Does wet coal burn? <laughs> We have to find out. South Fork, go 50, can we get clearance? Uh, C50, uh, South Fork negative, clear only to JK. JK. JK? Let's tell this is a joke. Just kidding. Or, or do they want us to go to Harry Potter land? You're a wizard, Norfolk Southern. <laughs> no, it's like, you're clear to go this way. Just kidding. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> so, so we got to go there. Four miles is going to feel like torture, isn't it? Because look at the speed on the South Fork branch. We are on the South Fork branch of the uh, Horseshoe Curve, I should point out. And also you can't see out that window. I can't see out that window, which... Um, condensation, station, 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 station. Um, oh, it's even worse out there. <laughs> Look at that thick fog and thick rain. We're getting Silent Hill vibes going here. I'm waiting for Pyramid Head to come out of those trees. Surprise! And the train would just... The train, ...wrap itself up yeah, its Yeah, the arse. train would just uh, laugh it. By the way, I have perfected hill starts as well now. Have you? I have perfected hill starts. The trick is you've got to keep the independent on. Let the engine... Rev up. Uh, ...spool up. And then when the engine reaches a certain point, hit the independent and then off you go. Make sure you have plenty of sand though. <laughs> See, there you go. Look at that. Perfect. So yes, we are on the Norfolk uh, Southern for uh, today's scenario on the Horseshoe Curve. Uh, Simon is... Um, Simon has a drinking problem. I just can't get into it. He just can't get into uh, it. Uh, oh, no. he, he's had that issue before. There we go. You've, uh, you've had that issue about getting into it before, haven't you? What, with the first oh, Cowboy Chili? Yeah, oh, yeah, fuck me, I'm already... Jesus, Ian, stop, stop it with that joke. Everyone's like, please stop, Ian, you know exactly where you're going with this. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, so the next time you would have seen this would have been the penultimate scenario, but we have... Not the last one. You are sorry? This is not the last no, one. No, this is the penultimate. But the next one, scenario number one, pushed aside, that would have been the last one. But then along comes Dovetail. With some DLC. With some Norfolk Southern Heritage Liveries DLC. Six new scenarios for us. Some are good. Some are Some good. are an hour and a half long. Some are an hour and a half long. And some just involve getting all of them around a turntable for a photo shoot. That's about 20 minutes long. Yeah, and you know, you, you know that uh, we're going to do that one first. Yes. That, that's going to be The next time you see the horseshoe curve, it's going to be a 20-minute scenario. Hold on a second. Anyway, it's like, my God! Hold on. Can I please, 
confer with our almanac to make sure that that is the case. Yes. I have conferred with our almanac and that is the case that the next one uh, is not going to be at Christmas. But it is going to be... Uh... So hold on a second then. Hold on a second. Where Hang are on. You? What? We are checking. We are... Oh, oi! 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 Excuse me, you're going to do the Ferrari thing? Yeah. Uh, uh, could you tell me if uh, the next scenario is, uh, is a long one or not? We are checking. <laughs> <laughs> so hold on, horseshoe curve. Oh look, scenario number one, 75 minutes is going to be the next one. Whoops, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> oh look. Oh look, 75 minute scenario for the next one. Whoops! Now you are! <laughs> yes, I would like. Uh, Gustav Gray's. Gustav Gray's was. With that parachute. With that parachute was. Oh, I need to redo some of this. So but that's fine. Once uh, all of these get uh, scribbled yeah. off, then it's fine. It's fine. So you give, me the, uh, give me the black marker so we can write in number 6, 20N. Simon, Simon takes great pleasure in giving me that uh, pen, don't you? Indeed. Horseshoe curve, number six, 20M. How does that? Tell me how my ass tastes. No thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no, because um, we have planned out now um, all of the scenarios. Well, I've got to get those two done. Although, like I said, there's no, not really a rush for them now. I can wait to do them after farm, but aren't I? Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, any um, any trips out really now? I've got to. Oh yeah, you go to Barbara on the 19th, are you? I am. No, I'm going on the 20th. Monday. No. Um, no, Sunday. Sunday, yes. Yeah. Yeah, because I want to go to the uh, Battlefield Railway that on the 20th. That is correct. Yes. Yeah, model so, show. The 20th, because I've got a late chill to. Uh, taking me down and hopefully that late chill. I'll, I'll just decide, you know what, so get the £25 return ticket to Farnborough. That's, it's a joke of a price, but I've not got a choice. Because mm. haven't really. Because we don't believe in, uh, look, look at this, that looked, that looks creepy, going through this branch yeah. with all these houses around us. You're going to see the old man come out with his gun. <laughs> what are you doing on my land, you little bitch? Yeah, exactly, what? You ain't from round here, are you? You get on my property. You get or off I my property. You. <laughs> I'm in my right to shoot you with my gun. Yeah, and uh, we just say, look at our 800, 8 million ton train. There's a, there's a railway line over there. Really? Yeah. It came up on the map. There it is, there. That must be a spur. That must be a. S wow. That is, that is creepy. Going through this, I presume this is the town of uh, South Fork because this is the South Fork branch. I, I assume it's the South Fork branch, but no, this is definitely the South Fork branch. So I assume this is the uh, the town of South Fork, uh, Pennsylvania. If it is South Fork, uh, Pennsylvania, that is. But look at it; it just look. It has those the Last of Us, Silent Hill Hol vibes. Holobies. Yeah. That it looks like, and you got the sun trying to peek through at the same time. Really good job. This Doug is Tell. not a good time to be on the train tracks. It's really not a good time to be on the train tracks, specifically when you got a 15 mile an hour chugger coming uh, the other way. Level crossing. Level crossing. Yeah. This is a this is a proper chugger. This one. We've got three power units on one side, three power and units now you're on the other side. Through the streets. 60 coal hoppers in the middle. I don't know why, like these American traces running through the streets. I do, they feel um, they feel uh, good. Oh, I had a look at the uh, TV guide for next week, sir. Yeah? Um, you are absolutely fine as far as movies are concerned. There is not movies. To be honest, when you, you're away in Manchester, I'll probably just be on the YouTube. You'll be on the on the the old U book or face tube. Actually, I still want to watch that DVD there. Do you? That's D Locomotive in Profile USA. There you go. So there you go. But when I come back on the Friday, there is definitely a good movie. There is a hundred percent a good movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
Bad boys, bad boys. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Which one? Two? Ah. So that song, and the, just the way Will Smith, and the, oh no, who's the other guy? Is it Martin Lawrence? Yes. Yeah. Just the way, but do, but do, but do, do, and then Will Smith, dude, you have got to learn the words. That's the running joke of the film, though. Yeah. Will Smith's the badass, and uh, Martin Lawrence is the, uh, oh, but wait a minute, you gotta, you gotta, don't do it like that, don't do it like that. good that, cop. Yeah. Isn't uh, number two the one with Woosa? The, the str- <laughs> Yeah, the, isn't it the one with the line where Martin says, I went to therapy to yes. help me out. You went to bang your therapist. <laughs> that's the one, yes. <laughs> that's oh, the one with the- That's um, the uh, pacifier. That's the one with the Russian bad guy that gets screwed. Yes. Yes, that's the- uh, Oh yeah, and uh, the mother, um... No, no content from Zero. That's the first line, Zero. Uh, did I pray do that? Yes, I did. That's and the... Is he a Mexican or Colombian bad guy? Uh, it is, uh... Let's go with, uh, Hispanic. Yeah. Just, uh, just for a sake of an argument. But, um... Drug dealer. Drug dealer. And his mum mom comes out after he kills one of his, his um, colleagues. What happened to him? He slipped and he fell and then he tripped on his own gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> and she believed it. Yeah. Ah, uh, please send him a bouquet of flowers. I will get right on that, Mama. Not. Not. <laughs> but See, you would have thought there'd be a sequel to that one because the, with the daughter. You would have thought so. Maybe that's what the fourth film is going to be. You know what I'm saying? You know, she wants revenge for, for uh, her dad dying, yeah. Yeah. Because they, well, but they did, they did similar to that with uh, Bad Boys for Life, didn't they? That, that um, uh, Will Smith's character sent his lover to jail. Yeah. She gave birth to his child in jail, and then the child wants revenge at the request of his mother. But, and then it. Also, but he did know that he that it's his dad. Yeah, he did know. He just thought he'd some cop that put her away. Yeah, exactly. And then it's like, is he my father? I was expecting better. He is your father. Although, Polvich. What? Um, oh, I can't remember his first name now. Um, oh, Maury Povich. Maury, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that, was, that would have just taken that movie into new comical levels mode. of comical mode. If, if uh, during that... So it's if, a serious moment. Is he my father? And then you just go to the studio. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I wonder if anyone has done a short for that. That would be so hilarious if someone's done a short for that. Yeah. Will, you are not the father. <laughs> that uh, the clip of the dude um, dancing all around that their family guy. Yeah. Someone tell him he's not the father. Do, do, do. Yeah. With Will Smith's head on it. Yeah. That would just be uh, fantastic. What's this? Oh, that's um... yeah, that's fine. Uh, I need to check, uh, double check the weather tomorrow. Cause I think the weather's getting better and better. I think, like I said, I think it's. Uh... I tell you what, it's see, we're American Locos actually on uh, YouTube. Yes. Did you know the movie Unstoppable? I do know the movie Unstoppable. Well, there was a thing I saw on YouTube. One, one a... of the best railway movies around, I think, Unstoppable. So, well, there's a. Move, well, there's a YouTube video that's an hour and seven minutes, but it shows you behind the scenes of it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I think uh, there are there are a few uh, mo uh, YouTube videos that are like that. So it actually shows you behind the scenes of that movie, but I think what you don't see is that there's actually another loco behind it, and I think they green screened it. Yeah, I think um, what behind the uh, the heroes loco. Yeah. Well, there has to be because no way one loco can stop a like two mile long heavy freight train going down a hill there's no way just no way that I think it looks like the mock-ups as well and the actual not the locos yeah they, they would probably would have had to have painted that green or something to um I know exactly which one it is he knows exactly which one it is uh, Tamu what's Tamu Oh, some shopping website. Oh, what are you shopping for on Tamu? No, it was just the ad. That oh, it was just the ad, was it? Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, oh, yeah. what are you shopping on Tamu for? 
paid, uh, you could shop like a billionaire on it. Ooh, wow. I don't want to shop like a billionaire though. Here we That's go. prices. Here's the 1.7, 2.3% grade. Yeah, that's the one. Posted a year ago. Oh, nice. Have you got your sound off? We don't want to be copyrighted now. Sound is off. Sound is off. So basically, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see that, yeah. Hello. So basically, it's just show you behind the scenes here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like how they've done all the cam work, the helicopter stuff. Cam work, helicopter, yeah. That's um, Chris Chris Pine, was it? Yeah. Show you how they basically show you how they did all, all the scenes for that. Ah, oh, we've got to watch that movie. Is it Chris Pine? That but there you can see there's another loco. Wait a minute. Hey. What? The loco in the movie's orange and the other one's blue. The one they use is blue. Not in that. They change the colour of the loco. Yeah. Look, go back. Go back a few seconds. There you go, uh, yeah, oh, you can, uh, yeah, there 20. you go, 25. No, 26. No, you might be able to, uh, Hang on. Just play from here. Yeah, just play it from there. So there, there's the pipe seed on the, uh... Yeah, that's the chase. The chase. So there you are, look, there's the blue loco, right? 12.06. But you can see... Yeah, but now look, uh, now look at the next shot. Right, look at their shot coming up. It's changed to orange. What is this? No, that's triple seven, is it? Oh, that's triple seven. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, triple seven. Sorry, that's triple seven. I do apologise. I do apologise. Oh, we're gonna have to watch that. Then. That's a whole. That's hour. an hour. I'd, I'd watch it though. I'd watch it. Definitely. Definitely, uh, definitely watch that. That's definitely worth an hour one day. Just got an hour to spare. Let's watch it. Let's watch it, exactly. Um, completely lost uh, my trade of thought after that. Hey, trade of thought. Bubble. That's a YouTube channel thing. That's, that's a YouTube channel, yeah. So, oh yeah, that was it. Back to it. I guarantee you, right, a short of that would be hilarious. Oh yeah, back to the bad boys back thing. Back to the bad boys thing. That, that would just be hilarious to have Will Smith there. You are not the father. Is he my father? <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. <laughs> that would just or be... Or just a clip of Will Smith dancing. Yeah. Mind that. Um, but yeah, no, tonight, uh, this afternoon's movie, uh, it's Tomorrow Never Dies. Ah which I think could be all right for 95% of it. But then for the certain scene, which is probably the best scene in the movie, we wouldn't see it. And that is the uh, Carver getting killed. Yeah. We, we probably wouldn't end up seeing that. We probably wouldn't end up even seeing some of the violence on Michelle, Michelle Yeoh either. So is it worth watching that movie? No. Not for an edited version. Not for an edited version. We watched the edited version of Goldeneye last week and... Oh yeah, apparently uh, we're not allowed to show Xenia on the top, headbutting Natalia Fiorgiorova. Natalia Simonova. No, Natalia Fiorgiorova Simonova. Thank you. What, they're not allowed to show headbutt with women on women headbutt? Yeah, no! Okay, yeah, it's at four, four or five in the afternoon, but... Come on, Matt. If there was a man doing that, then yeah, I can understand. But you're not allowed to show another woman hitting another woman? Jeez, they'd be good watching WWE, wouldn't they? Exactly. They'd be... Or, uh, AEW. They'd be good with that, wouldn't they? No. Definitely, uh... I don't would... know why on Facebook they just shit all over AEW. Because some of the stuff that I see posted, there's always lack of emojis. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I think that there is a there is obviously a reason why it's because you know if you think about it they're not they think um, that uh, that's, they think they're better but they try to not that prove that they're better yet. Uh, it's not. They know they're better, but some of the stuff they said in the past. So for example, Tony Khan said, "Oh, we wouldn't sign all these uh, WWE guys." And what's the next thing they do? They've signed about half of the 
WWE guys that have uh, left WWE. Yeah. And now they're practically, you can turn around and say they're practically a uh, WWE show. That's, that's what you can say. But don't get me wrong, some of the action you see in AEW is absolutely top notch. It's, it's great. There's no BS store. It's just the AEW haters. Yeah, it's, it's just every company's going to get haters. Every company's going to get haters. But for, for example, I mean, uh, this weekend, for you guys, it was a, a month or so ago, was the debut of um, Little Izzy from, uh, that we saw in NXT. Oh yeah, she had her first match last night. She had her first match. No, I don't think it was last night. I think it's uh, t- this tonight it's happening for us. I'm sure it's tonight yeah. it's happening. And you've got um, all of these um, former wrestlers. Because everybody in the wrestling community, once Izzy grew up and she then started to get her own YouTube show and she started going around interviewing um, wrestlers. And she interviewed wrestlers. We, we're talking, we're not interviewing some random indie people. We're talking people like uh, Britt Baker, Bully Ray. We're talking about well-established names in yeah. the wrestling music. And she was, and they respected her as well. They gave her the respect that she, she deserved because she respected them. And then you have all of these same wrestlers who she interviewed. So, for example, Bully Ray. First, he found wins. He said, go out there, leave it all, kick ass except yeah. Uncle, Uncle Bully will be proud of you right but then you have her opponent right the, the cold the cold one was right was when Bailey took because Izzy was a we're talking massive Bailey yeah. fan when Bailey was all hugs and wacky wave, waving in part I'm, I can't do that one wacky waste for the face we are then whatever yeah exactly Wacky, I'm waving people out. I'm waving tube bed or something like that. And um, Bailey was like, you know, go kick ass. You're gonna crush it. But then she ended the tweet with, "If you lose, I'm gonna disown you quickly." <laughs> Keeping yeah. up with Bailey's heel persona at the moment. But then her opponent, top tier Jasmine Allure, came out and she was like, "Oh look, someone else that Bailey's gonna be disappointed and turn heel on." Cold! Absolutely cold. But no, I I hope that she's um, done a fair bit of the business, is he? She has. A, you, like I said, you, she, she, was she a manager at one point as well? Yeah, she was a. Uh, she, she started off as a super fan. Then she became a, like a, a manager or something. Then she started properly training to become a wrestler. And now she is a wrestler. And everyone's saying. This is going to be the story arc because probably two, three years time she'll probably get signed up for WWE. She'll start in NXT, etc. And then they'll do something Izzy against Bailey when yeah. Bailey's ready to walk off into the sunset. That, that, right? If if that happened, if neither ever get a WrestleMania match ever again, Izzy, Moreno, or Bailey, that would be their WrestleMania moment. Just to have them two hug in the middle of. You know where that WrestleMania should take place? San Jose. In the middle of San Jose, Bailey country, right? It would just be, it would absolutely... No, I reckon that will be a match somewhere in the future. It will be. It, it's going to happen. We know it's going to happen. The, the match everyone wants to see, though, is the, the full-on story turn arc. If Sasha Banks came back, they want to see Izzy against Sasha. Remember when Sasha just stole headbands that of Izzy made a cry and all that. Yeah. Izzy comes back for revenge on the headbands! <laughs> we'll probably be long gone though before uh, before that happens so it's um, well I'll probably be long gone <clears throat> but you never know. Yeah because there's no chance of them signing her up when she's like 16, 18 at the moment. Uh, I think she's what is she? Izzy. I think she is 16. Ooh. Which makes me wonder, why is she in the independence there? Because I thought there was an age limit. Not really, because I think uh, Paige, Soraya Knight, yeah. she wrestled when she was 13. Yeah, but that, that's over here in England. Yeah. Because w- William Regal did uh, did the same thing. She, he started when he was 13, 14. Rey Mysterio, I think, did the same in Mexico. He started 13, 14. 
Um, who else started off? Um, I don't know if it, there's an age limit. I don't, there may be. There may not be. It's, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll have a. <coughs> Let's have a look first. Uh, just to uh, appease my. Uh, that's a good question though. Is there an age limit to be a professional wrestler? Yeah, professional wrestler age there, pro wrestler age limit. Is there a so you have to be 18 or older to join WWE? Fair enough. Which is fair enough. Um is 34 too old to start pro wrestling? Absolutely not. Because DDP was Started his 30s, did DDP he? DDP started late 20s, early 30s in that area. Someone else started in their late 30s. Was it Batista? Could have been. I think it was Batista. He started in his. Um, uh, there is no age limit yet. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Uh, is 35 too old to start wrestling? Yeah, wrestling is good uh, for all ages. Um, let's have a look Don't here. think it is. I don't think there's. Uh, I don't think there is, you know. So in independence, it looks like you're fine. But you still see people wrestling in their 60s. They do. It's just. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm guessing PCO's, PCO's in his 50s. Oh, PCO, the wrestler that um, just won't um, just won't uh, die. Um, he's like in his 50s, but. The problem is when he was in his 40s, 50s, he, that's at his best, is it? Or... Something like uh, that, yeah. So, let's, um... See if, um... Oh, let's have a look here. Easy Mania. Um... Oh, yeah, it's like Scott Hall. She's also had scoliosis as well. Luke Harper, look at that. Yeah. So she's had, um, she she is well known and she is well respected. Is uh, apparently I can't sign up to that. So I, gar I guarantee you that um, she'll probably uh, tell me more here. Um, there it is. Uh, in case you missed it, uh, oh no, it was last night. I do apologise. I do uh, definitely apologise. Oh, but she looks absolutely nervous, doesn't she? Yeah. They are. The bully ray, knock him, knock him down. Yeah. Uh, Justin Smith, uh, who's a NST fan. All the uh, cultaholic people. Uh, Mission Mission Pro Whistlewell. So, Egg what he has. E everyone. Oh, there, there we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it looks like Bailey 2.0 is getting disowned after her first match. Absolute savagery. Did she win, though? Did she win? I don't expect her to have won. But um, it wouldn't surprise me if she did win. I wonder if. Uh... TPWW's mentioned it. They could um, have mentioned it, yeah. Um, let's try that. Oh yeah, you heard about the IWGP US title gets renamed. No, what's it uh, been renamed to? Well, the champs will Osprey. So he's renamed it to United Kingdom title. As you do, yeah. I don't think nothing's mentioned. Um... Oh, it looks like Mission Pro is an all-female um, thingy. Um, it looks like Mission Pro is a... Oh, yeah. Gunter. Gunter. Are we going to start talking about Gunter now? Yeah, because he's passed their uh, Petro Malois record. And he only needs to hold the IT title for another 26 days to tie the Honky Tonk Man. And 27 days to pass it. Yes. That's the longest IC champion. Absolutely. Um, um, 
No, I don't think there's nothing. Is there nothing? We'll find out later. Well, we'll find out later. But anyway, back uh, to... From the, from the sound of it, though, she didn't... Um, she didn't... Um, mess up or anything like that, so she, she had a, a decent enough match. But we're almost at the summit here, at the uh, the hill, so it should be easy enough uh, from down here. We'll, uh, we'll see what uh, they have in uh, store for us. Excuse How me. many miles we've got to go? I don't know, but I imagine we're going to where the South Fork branch ends. And, and meet up with the main line. meet up with the main line. I imagine that's where we're going. I, I would hope that that's where we're uh, going. Where is the checkpoint? I can't see it through that. Uh, it's getting closer because uh, the numbers are counting down. We're in the 700s right now. So we are pretty close. To, to the checkpoint, yeah. Yeah. So it says go via, so we don't have to stop here. But uh, it could be... I got, I got a feel we're going to get another four miles to go. And then it's a uh, hammer down up the hill. Uh, oh yeah, we, you can see the visible crest of the hill here. You can act, you you could literally see the crest. Yeah, we've got to stop at JK. Which is four miles. Which is four miles away, so... Yeah, as I thought, there we go, it's there. So I bet we're taking... we got to stop there. And then there's a marshalling yard around that corner. And we're going to park in there, and then that'll be the scenario. So that, that's not uh, too bad. Yeah. Plus you get to uh, take Just it... Just take it a cage you're just taking a trade down you, the you're branch taking, line you're taking a cage you're going to work yeah. are you take a cage you're, you're going to work are you no no are you sure i'm sure it sounds like you were ready to uh, go to work um <laughs> uh that's a point yeah the last uh, that chance so i can do this one here uh not that that oh i missed the uh thingy on the uh the other channel i'll go uh i'll go back there i'll go back there but then, you I mean, you look at those Norfolk Southern uh, 44s. They're going to look cracking with their uh, new livery. Well, I, I have a feeling that we're not going to be doing much with that um, scenario. But I have a feeling we should do that scenario first. To perhaps get a few uh, little things. Try and get our... Because you know they have their little... Um, promote something then they have two creator photos yeah I guarantee if we get in there we'll uh, have a tr have a chance it could be yeah could be who knows you you fire up your trains in world you'll see Rockstar Pool 69 in the corner and I'll be like yeah there's our photo right there subscribe to our channel subscribe to our channel and subscribe right now now are we going down a 3% downhill are we on a 3% uphill I think we're on a 3% downhill so uh the dynamic break is uh, going to start coming into, uh, yeah, the dynamics starting to come into play. Yeah. You're I, speeding a little bit, are you? We are. We are over-speeding, but the problem is we are um, a bit out of control right now, shall we uh, say. 60 heavy coal wagons and three locos on the rear are going to do this for you. So, um, just just yeah. ignore the um, just ignore the speedo. It, it, it's, not, uh, it's not important. It's, it's not important, trust me. It really isn't important. So it's like our own mini unstoppable. It's our own mini unstoppable, yeah. But we, we, I'll get this train under control. Don't worry, I'll get it under control. Yeah, it's fine. That's a message. What's that for? Spotted. You're gonna. Oh yeah. So yeah, those plans that I've got. If he's thinking of moving the Goblin Racing League on to Tuesday, I've got to look at. Uh, See, there's, therein lies the problem. It's Wednesday, Thursdays, or Thursday, Fridays, but that puts me right in the RMT's firing line if I do that. Yeah. And Sunday, Mondays really don't help out as much. Sunday, Monday, all you're doing is go down one day, then you just got the Monday to do that stuff, and then that's it. Exactly. What I might do, though, is with that first trip, the Monday trip, definitely go do Stockport. Definitely. Yeah but come back the same day. So instead of doing the Hope Valley the next day, just do that. Maybe then find a hotel later in the week, like a cheap Premier Inn in Manchester or something, and then do the Hope Valley on the Friday. But I think what I want to do now going forward is definitely keep Saturdays free. Definitely keep that. I think I've got to that point now where... Or you could do Saturdays for day trips. 
yes, that needs for day trips, exactly. But keep it as free as possible, because not only will I have the Goblin Racing League, I've got the uh, League I'm doing with Gran Turismo as well. Um, I might I might stream the Goblin Racing League. Now that's easy to stream, that is. It is. Because it's not, um, all we're going to be doing is qualifying in the race. We haven't decided yet if we're doing 50% races or 25% races. But well, that's an hour long. But that'll be probably an hour, hour and a half. Whereas with Gran Turismo, the problem was, um, yes, it was an hour and a half, but that game is temperamental. And I mean temperamental. So, yeah. Um, also, please remind me, I've got to get my um, Hampton Yard and Clips up here and get them on there. I've also got to do my notes as well. So, uh got to get that uh, done. So nothing else, uh, well I'll get two um, Trades in World videos done but then this afternoon, this evening, probably get that vlog ready so when I come back next Friday, yeah. get it saved so I can get it up for the members. And then perhaps get the next one uh, ready as well. Oh, I've also got to do uh, notes as well for that, yeah. Just like I said, uh, because I messaged by child members yesterday. Yes. I uh, said, so, uh, when this one goes up, there's only four videos left while I'm taking this uh, break because I ain't got the rail cars yet. That's true. But you can do short trips. I can probably do short trips, yeah, if I need to. Yeah, you can do short trips just to do... I mean, I know uh, if you went down the Mersey Rail, I know up to, I think it's one of the Bromberas. That's the same price as Chester. Without a rail car. Without a rail car. And that's only, like, something like... 18 quid, something like that, innit? So that's not yeah. too bad. You also know going down to, if you went super off peak down to London, it's 20 quid. Peak is 30. Why? Why? I know. Just why? Mind you, you could technically put a rail card on the travel card because nobody checks it. You could, couldn't you? Especially focus in what? Southeastern? Yeah. Or uh, or Thameslink? Yeah. So uh, so to speak. Nobody checks for a rail card down in London. They don't. They do probably outside of London, but in London they don't. Yeah. They uh, they don't. That's uh, that seems to be uh, that seems to be the problem. The value's still got some fluid in this. What was that then? Will you go like hundred miles an hour then? Probably, I don't... Uh... There was a... Oh, did it um, fly around? Or yeah. Something? Yeah, I think what I had was something to the... Slip. Yeah, some slip. <laughs> My worry is if we're going to even get a silver with this... Um, all this overspeeding that we're doing. But they get so hard to control this... Um, this, this loco. This loco. It's just so hard to control it going down uh, the hill because the thing with the dynamic brake is you got to wait 10 seconds for it to uh, sort of power up and then when you do that and then it kicks in as I learned on the car home pass ah <laughs> <clears throat> because uh, the car home pass is uh, some really steep gradients no what um, what scenarios have you uh, have we got a lot forward to because um, next uh, next pass around because we have already done the next uh, pass around oh yeah. by the way while I was um, doing the um, scenario while I'm getting all the collectibles for uh, the, the uh, Castle Wurzburg route we're not going to talk about it uh, I also got the trophy for the mileage for the ICE 3 oh right so I didn't think I was that to close up or well, it's going to be but uh, that's the thing when you've got a 186 mile route, a kilometre route to uh, play with. Well, we've figured out how to do, uh, to get some mileage this yes, time. Yes, we have figured it uh, all because out. You thought, oh yes, let's run a HST round the test track. Yep. And it, it didn't give you the mileage. It didn't give me one kilometre. But then what I did was, we created a scenario in the training centre. Just let it run round, run round. And there you go, there's your trophy for the mileage. So you have to create a scenario to do it. 
which uh, will probably come in handy when we do the uh, the 182 because you got to go 1,820 kilometers. That's near enough a thousand miles. Jesus, yeah. And the top speed of that thing is around about a hundred and something. I don't uh, remember what it is off the top of my head. So that's going to take a while. Which is why one of these scenarios we're doing next uh, next pass around on the Castle Versberg is not only with the Displock dis uh, 182, but it's also a 90 minute scenario. So it's a lot of miles. So it's a lot of miles. In fact, do you know what I'm going to do? Can I have the, uh, the green and the blue pen, please? I'm going to mark these up so we know what uh, days they're going to be on. Because I think... Um, I know blue, not uh, red. Because uh, the red's for um, something else. Sorry. Uh Yes, that's perfect. I will also... In fact, you can uh, use the black if you want. Where is the black? Could you uh, just write a zero there for me, please? Thank you. That's probably the worst zero I've ever... Oh my god, that's a hula hoop. I'm going to reach into the board now. It's a hula hoop. It's a hula hoop. Now, when, where have we got up to? Uh, yeah. I'm going to try again. He's going to try again. He's going <laughs> to... He's going to try again, folks. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's better. There we go. Although, that now looks like an on switch. <laughs> I'm going to push this and it's going to illuminate. <laughs> Uh, right. Or a peach. Or a peach. Oh, good shout. A peach. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what it is? It's that uh, spaceship from uh, Independence Day Resurgence. Oh, yeah. We're going to have... Uh, we're going to show that to uh, someone. They're going to go bat you know what crazy. That's what they're going to do. Right. Um, do you want green for Saturday or blue for Saturday? Not plus. Well, let's do blue. So, I think we got up to... Scottish Express, so that's a Saturday, that's a Saturday, that's a Saturday, so then we go up here, Baker Lou's a Saturday, that's a Saturday, that's a Saturday, Carhoun's a Saturday, South Eastern's a Saturday, Stelfast Reckon's a Saturday, oh, the Clintrial two hour scenario is a Saturday, everyone thank you for that one. <laughs> I guarantee you, everybody. Long Island, Hen, uh, Cat Car is Saturday, the final Cat Car, the final Dresden is Saturday, King Creek is Saturday, Paran uh, Paran is Saturday, Harlem Line is Saturday, and ooh, the Horseshoe Curve, aren't you all lucky? That new Horseshoe one's a Saturday, and then Rem and Oldenburg is Saturday as well. And then we're back uh, to where we were, so this works out very nicely. Oh yeah. So there you go, thank you. Uh, and then the green for the Sunday. So everything that doesn't have a star gets a green. Which is... Perfect. See, you can all see now. This may look like a complicated... Uh, thingy. Well, they can't see it. Well, they, they can't see it, no. But... Uh, it is a finely tuned vessel. Planned well. It's planned very well. You have the master planner in the session, that's why. It is all planned very, very nicely. It's just a shame next time around we get to say goodbye to Clinchfield Railroad, Capcart Circle, London Commuter, Nefarkaher Dresden, Parampa Harlem Line and the Cross City. Wow, that how many routes is that? That's six more gone. Yeah, that's incredible. And then you've got poor old uh, South Eastern High Speed, which has, has about seven million scenarios to it. <laughs> All it's going to be is uh, South Eastern High Speed. So now we're here. Join us tomorrow for South Eastern High Speed. Join us next Saturday for South Eastern High Speed. Be join us. <laughs> I I reckon though. I reckon though. There is going to be a a point where there's not going to be many routes there's not going to be many routes so when that happens we could probably scale it back to uh, just Sundays again yeah 
But I think for the meantime, I do want to keep it as Saturdays and Sundays. Uh, if, put it this way, if we can... I'm trying to think, uh, West Court. What are we going to get down to eventually? That sounded painful. I heard that crack. I don't know if they heard that crack, but that sounded so painful then. Was that your shoulder? It's all around here. Oh, that was right down my ear as well. So let me... I let think me, it was the shoulder actually going to really get a little bit. Yeah, let me have a think of this here. So... Castle Würzburg and Car Home Pass have still got loads of scenarios. So is Southeast High Speed. Um, what else has got loads of scenarios? Uh, Sherman Hill. Uh, yeah, I think we may be down to, you know, it could come down to a point where it's like roots, new roots and old roots all mixed together. I think. Uh, I definitely know when uh, Cane Creek, when we get around to Cane Creek, that then the next one will be the last one for Cane Creek, so that I definitely know. Yeah. Uh, same with the Central Spice, I think. And then I think these ones down here, they're going to be in the same boat, because on the Midland Main Line might be alright for a while, but definitely like Lindertal Bar, Linker Reinstrecker, uh, Trent, New York Trenton. Scottish Express, Bremen Oldenburg, these routes there, that that's going to be the next round of deletions, I think. Sure, you can't drive a fake new light trail on the other way. It is. So I think somebody tried, but uh, they didn't get uh, particularly far. Somebody drove a 323 on the cross city. I mean, a 323 on the other way. Right, I'm going to hold you on there. Somebody drove a 323 on the cross city. I know, I fucked up. Somebody drove a 323 on the cross city, yet the 323s are the traction on the cross I know. city. Are you a monumental moron? I fucked up. No, I mean, <laughs> someone drove the Class 323 on the Isle of Wight. I knew what you meant, I knew what you meant. I think they drove a 465 on the Bakerloo. Uh, it's funny when you drive trains on different routes. Oh yes, uh, we've got to join that, haven't we? Shit. We got a joy. Remember Tony's um, Zoom call. I said we'd pop in. Oh, is that today? Yeah, that's today. Oh, oh yeah. <coughs> crud. Crud, crud, crud. Yeah. That's speechless now. Yeah, um, oh. we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see how uh, that all shakes out for us. Score says that man. Right, we've got five thousand feet to. Uh, oh, Michael sent a photo. Michael sent a photo. Where the hell is he? Newark. Is that Newark? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure, sure that's Newark Northgate. What's he doing at Newark Northgate? He's off the wrong end for starters. No, he's at the right end. He's at the right end. I don't know what he's doing in Newark. No, I don't know what he's uh, doing. Mind you, there is no right and wrong end now at Newark. Yeah. Well, actually, no, there is, because the uh, the five-car uh, Newarks go right down to the end of the platform, so you've got to... Oh, I see why we're having to wait here. Can you see why we're having to wait there? Passing trains. Yeah, passing trains. It's like a Fallon Parkway. Oh, how ironic. He's just sent me that message, too. Although he sent me something else a bit. Oh, I see. I see. It's a bus event. Ah, it's a bus event. Oh no, that's a uh, that's a different day. But uh, yeah, he sent me uh, the same photos as well. I don't know why. No, he sent you free. He sent me free. No, um, I'm privileged. That's why. 
I was gonna say. I don't know what you were gonna say. But you were gonna say something. So we we've, we've got to get into this. Let's Bannock see. Parkway. That's it. That's it. Bannock Parkway. Yeah, because even though the platforms take six coaches. If you get a six coach train at Fallot Parkway, guess where it stops at? Right down the end of the platform. Yeah. So Peter, they do actually tell them to move down to the edge of the platform on the screen. Yeah. They, uh, as they should. So people probably waited by the <coughs> sheltered waiting room where the stairs are. Yeah. Like they always do. But then they got to walk it down to the edge of the platform. They do. Which, which is a shame. Which is a shame. You would have thought there'd be a six car board and a twelve car board. You would have thought so, but, but unfortunately, no. Down there. Everything's down that way. Everything's down that way. Oh dear. We've only got another few minutes uh, on this one. On this one. And then, can I just say, because this is the final video of my quest, I will have all 30 videos up on YouTube at this point. Now, we were going to do this one Thursday, were we? We were, then uh, then the movie came along. And heat wave. And heat wave, yes. <laughs> like a good 20 odd degrees heat wave. A good 20 27, degrees. 27, 28? Yeah, no, uh, going back to Wurzb Castle Würzburg, uh, while I remember, I took uh, during my Saturday off, because uh, I did all my recording, I thought, oh, I'll have a Saturday off now, no problem. I thought, oh, let's go get the Castle Würzburg uh, thingies. I got 49 of the 50 tunnel sides. I've now got to go back and find the missing tunnel sign because it's apparently there is 50 in there. But when oh, yeah. I did the video, there's only 40. And I was just like, I have not got the heart to go back another 186 kilometers. And the train was four hours delayed, was it? Four hours delayed. And by the end, it was trying to, you try to get off the train, it wouldn't let you. It wouldn't let me, no! And by the time we got off the train, the train left with the door open. Yeah, and I was like, why didn't I record that? Because that would have been a great short. Come back here with your door wide open. Mind you, I could do that again and probably take the 182. Try and find the light 182 loco. Just to cut into that 180, 1,820 kilometres. I would. I would as well. Plus the 182 is easy, easier to break than... Uh... That, that, that's the problem though. It's, a, it's the tunnels. The tunnels are the problem. Have you ever thought of just crazy scenario just ran a train to another? Just fun. You obviously don't know uh, this channel very well, do you? <laughs> Welcome to uh, this the Trains in World channel where we uh, create mischief and mayhem all over the place. Right, we stop right here. Right here! See, he's doing it again. Yeah, it's uh, the brakes are uh, having a hard time. Uh, really glitching. Really glitching out. South Fork, C50, we've arrived at JK. Can we get clearance from JK to Maple Street? No. Can we? Uh, negative, line still occupied. Wait for train to pass into JK, then you may. So we gotta wait for uh, Buddy Boys to come off the, um, off the spur. And then, uh, and then we can move into Maple Street. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't want to wait here. I wouldn't want to wait here either, we but... Just miss. No, I wouldn't want to wait here either, but uh, unfortunately, we got to avoid... But, uh, yeah, I get what you say. You wouldn't want to wait around here for no. too long. Definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, certainly not with... Uh, well... You don't know what's uh, lurking in these trees, do you? Like the 37 Dice Cowboy Chili. Just... Yeah, I mean, you just had to go there. I, I did. I. It's like... I, I say the thing, I set myself up for it every time, I think, just why? Just, why not? I know why not, but just why? Why not? You can say why not till the cows come home, but it's still just why. You know what I'm saying? Just why? Moo. Moo. <laughs> Moo, he says. Right, looks like the cows come home now, so... Yeah, the cows uh, have come home. Uh, we're still waiting for this uh, for this train to uh, sneak past us here. Because it'll be doing 10 miles an hour and we'll be sat here doing... Nothing. Nothing. We could probably uh, get out, st stand on the uh, side here and uh, just watch it as it... Uh... No, it feels like we'd be standing here with our cabooses up our arse. Gah! Caboose! You mean our thumb of our caboose? Yeah. <laughs> We, we, we're, we're just uh, standing here, we've got a thumb up our caboose and uh, everything else in between. My phone, uh, 
finished, has it? Mind you, 41 still for uh, London. It is not bad. On a bank holiday Monday. On a bank holiday Monday as well, yes. I am very tempted. I've rubbed out the plan, so I've got to redo the plan. Pat myself on the back there, Ian. Yeah, well done. But, that would be more of a challenge, I think. Yeah, that event suddenly vanished. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the TFL3 had done a 500 subscriber special. Yeah. And they visited all the London tourists in one afternoon. In one afternoon. That's doable. No, uh, just put it back over there. All oh, right. Thank you. That's doable because I did it as well for a vlog. What, years and years and years ago when uh, I was deep into my um, overnighters as a younger Ian. And I visited all the London terraces, but at night, using only the night buses to help me around. See, now that was a challenge. Oh, yes. Started at Euston at one quarter past one in the morning. Did you film that? I did. I did. Started at Euston, and I think here's the train coming, because uh, the lights are getting a little yeah. uh, brighter. There she is. Crawling. Crawling as uh, as it would. Norfolk Southern with that horse. Yes, the, the, the familiar Norfolk Southern livery that's got uh, loaded. No, that's unloaded. Because we're loaded, we're 60 full. So that's going to go down unloaded. Is that all grain hoppers? That looks like uh, grain hoppers, but I think that's their coal hoppers. Unless it is grain and then... Uh... Yeah, you're right. No, yeah, that was it, yeah. I started at quarter past one in the morning at Euston at Euston and then went around all the London terminuses on the night bus and got back to Euston at four o'clock in the morning I my the challenge was yeah I did it in the summer I remember I did it in the summer and the yeah. challenge I set myself was, can I visit all the London terminuses and get back to Euston before the sun comes up? And I got, I think I worked, and I did it on the shortest day, as, shortest night as well, to make it even more of a challenge. Yeah, you mean the longest day? Uh, the longest day, which is the shortest, shortest night. night. Yeah, yeah. And I think I got back to Euston with about 40 minutes to spare. That's a lot. It's a, it's a lot. Because what I did was I did them in a sort of circular motion. Yeah. That's what they did. They started it, well, they started Ely Broadway. Yeah. They go to Paddington. They have to use the low level. Yes. Still counts. Still counts, absolutely. Um, i trying to think now. That could be a challenge in London for you, couldn't it? Yeah. If you were looking for a video to do, could you visit all the London terminuses? but only use um, a certain mode of transport. It may be hard for one station, because one station doesn't have a tube station. Venture Street. Venture Street. Um, Trying try to think how they did it. Uh, they got the Bakerloo up to Wembley Central. Yeah. No, no, sorry, sorry, no. They got the Bakerloo to Marleybone. Yeah. And they got a cancelled train from Marleybone. Yeah. Then Marley Bowe to Wembley Stadium. Yeah. Walked it to Wembley Central. Got a tray down to Paddington. Houston. Oh, Houston. Yeah. But they got a little northwestern one that stopped there. Gotcha, yeah. During the time the Bakerloo was shut. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Jubilee. No, they... Carry on, sorry. Yeah, Bakerloo to Ardo. So then it went to Houston. Walked it to St Pancras. Yeah. They used the Thames Link low level to Farringdon. Yeah. Then they used Farrington to change to King's Cross. Yeah. Then they went from King's Cross to Finsbury Park. Yeah. Finsbury Park to Moorgate. Yeah. Moorgate to Liverpool Street. Yeah. Uh, Liverpool Street to Stratford. So South Fork, C50 train cleared, JK to the switch, setting them, and then we can go. Good, fantastic. So, then they went to Stratford to Liverpool Street. Yeah. To Liverpool Street. Yeah. Then they used the DLR to West Ham. Yeah. And they said, we couldn't 
used another library you have pop so they said because they've used another library you don't like that that's your personal problem now, I can't remember how it went is there a running joke on the channel or something that I've missed no basically he did like the other boat the transport we took that's your own person that is your opinion but that's your own personal Oh, is it a C2C? Yeah, yeah, no, I think it was the Jubilee. Ah, oh, right. That's your own personal problem, in other words, we don't care. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember what the full joke was, but... Yeah, no, I actually just remember what the uh, challenge was. The challenge was not to visit all the London terminuses, it was to visit all the stations that were considered a London terminus according to Wikipedia. Yeah. So in other words, not only did we visit uh, Euston, St Pancras, King's Cross, Liverpool Street, Fenchurch Street, London Bridge, London Waterloo, London Cannon Street, London Charing Cross and London Victoria and London Paddington and London Marlebone, we also did in there for a bit of extra uh, kraut, Moorgate, Old Street, Farringdon and I think we included... Old Street? Oh, Waterloo East, yes. Yes. Oh no, it was all the Zone 1 stations, sorry, all the Zone 1s. Yeah. All the Zone 1s. So, and Waterloo East as well. So, and that, let me, let me tell you something, right? Because I remember it uh, very, very well. I see a road. I see a road too. Houston to, Houston all the way around went okay. Yeah. It was when we got Waterloo to Waterloo East, then it started because I was like, where the hell is Waterloo East? And I was following the signs around and Waterloo East is in such a dark back road that I thought to myself, now you're all right. No, uh, yeah, I thought to myself, I'm gonna get fucking jumped here by something. But I carried on and literally, every noise I was like what, the fuck? what what was that but I got to Waterloo East and then as soon as I got to Waterloo East right how fast could I get down back that way <laughs> yeah you have never seen me run so fast in it was like me at midnight in Romford yeah because I got to Romford after midnight I was walking through the town centre oh it's 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 different gravy isn't it and there was someone that was literally walking right in my direction. Yeah. Literally straight ahead. Uh-huh. And then as soon as they saw me, they decided, no, you're right. Mm -hmm. And I looked at them thinking, yeah, try it. Yeah, try it. No, the best overnight vlog I did, I remember doing this one as well. Um, I went over to Old Street. Um, visited, visited someone I hadn't seen for a while. This was at oh yeah uh, midnight or something, and then for some inexplicable reason, I decided you know what let's walk around from Old Street to Waterloo. Just walk it. Oh yeah, and it took me about four or five hours to walk it. <laughs> and you're thinking to yourself, yes, but here's a direct line. Yeah, I went round via Liverpool Street and Venture Street and then the Thames. <laughs> it's like um, when I had to go get back to Euston for Wall Street after Phillip Parkway. Yeah. Because uh, I had half an hour to get back to Euston if I wanted to make that trade or. And otherwise, you were like. Otherwise, I would be stuck in London till 7. Yeah. We, we're not because having that again. Because with the Super Hoppy ticket I had. And. Um, you made it with seconds to spare, didn't you? Well, the train was right, just arrived when I got there. But no, because I thought, oh yeah, Wall Street, half past three, five minutes time, I'll be there laughing. And you were? No, not no, quite. Not quite. Remember, remember I tell you, yeah, I had to bail at Wall Street because the train wasn't stopping at Euston. All uh, right. The next stop on the Northern Eye was Monitor Crescent. Mm, did you uh, find out why? No. No. I was in a rush to get back to Euston. That's a point, isn't but it? But the walk... Oh, 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 it's all right. But the walk from Warren Street to Euston... Yeah. ...was only 10 minutes. 
Oh, well, there you go. Not uh, not too bad, was it? Because Warren Street is close to Euston Square, and Euston Square is very close to Euston. It is. It is. Fuck me. It's all right. I've got a pain where I don't need a pain right now. Pain in the ass? Yeah. A real pain in the ass. A real pain in the ass, yeah. Oh, that fucking brings tears to your eyes. And I and I mean proper tears to my eyes. What, the arse has gone numb? No, 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 no. No, 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 sir. No, no. I've got it under control now. I've got it under control. I just have to change my seating position for the moment. It's going to be interesting when I start walking in a few minutes. So. Oh, dear me. Oh, that's, uh, that's painful. So, yeah, in 3,000 feet, we can end this scenario and then I can get all these videos off the thingy and onto there. And thank you very much. I am an absolute... First of all, I'm a madman for doing these 30 videos in four days. Four days. Well, a week, really. Yeah. But uh, I'm an absolute madman for doing them. We didn't have that heat wave on Thursday. We could have got one done earlier. We could have got them uh, done a lot earlier, couldn't we? But And then today could have been a free day for me to do whatever I wanted to do. Well, those windscreen wipers are a bit glitchy. They do look a bit. I think it's just the rain, how uh, the rain is um, hitting the, the windshield. Yeah. If, uh, I'm being completely honest with you. We're also going at uh, two miles an hour, so uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, giving us a bit more speed. A bit more welly. A bit more welly. That would be uh, fantastic. We could have been there already by now. Yeah. We could have walked it there. We could have walked it there. <laughs> We probably could have done as well. That uh, that would have been uh, hilarious. Well, he walked it there, walked it back after getting a coffee and still climbed the train at two miles an hour. Still climbed the train at two miles an hour. What's next? Uh, what are we doing next Saturday? I think it's... Um, there's an empty gap there. I can't remember what's in that empty gap. What's in this empty gap? <laughs> Was it for a route that might come back? No, I think this was a uh, one that definitely ended early. I, I could check, but unfortunately my phone's uh, occupado at the moment. Now nah, we'll find out. What was with the Birmingham Cross City? What was with the Birmingham Cross? Are those next, oh. next Sunday's the Birmingham Cross City? Oh, Spirit Steam! Yeah. Spirit Steam, that's what it is. It's not going to be the last scenario. But it will be the last time you see it this side of Christmas. Yes. There is a reason for that, folks, as well. Definitely uh, a reason for that. But, uh, oh, I'll be glad when we get to the end of this route. Because this was a long ha ass hauled one. This, this, this felt like it did go on, didn't it? Yeah. It felt like it did. Uh, go on uh, a lot longer than uh, it should have done, but uh, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Loco's shaking a bit. Loco is shaking a bit. It's probably because we're on uh, some rough track. Some rough track, yeah. Is this when you go to the yard now? Or? Uh, yeah, we're, we're in the yard now. We're, we're in the, uh, the yard now. We're going to have to uh, wait here. And then that's the end of uh, this. You know what? We're 11 miles now. I don't care. I don't care. We've probably not got the gold. If we have, that's probably the most fortunate gold we've ever got in our life. Yeah. It's just doing it, getting it done. Yeah. Doing it, getting it done. I will... Um, like, you a... may come back to this. I may come back to this and absolutely ace it. What do you want? I don't want anything. What do you said you want? No, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't say anything. All right. I didn't, uh, I didn't say anything. No, you were about to say something, but I cut you off. And I've gone and forgot whatever that was, so. Yeah. It, it's fine. It's, uh, it's cool. There we go, look at that. A bit misty. A bit misty. Yeah, I think those were grey hoppers that passed us. Because they look like coal hoppers. They did. They, yeah, they look, these, uh, these look like, uh, proper coal hoppers, I will, uh, Yeah. 
I will agree with uh, with you on that one. But um, yeah, we just uh, there we go. There we go. That's perfect. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. Oh, dear me. Well, I, I honestly forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, to do, to do thirty videos, get them all ready, and to put myself in a position where now. I can just do it week by week. That, that's what I wanted. Yeah. That, that's what I wanted to do. Really get ahead of yourself. Really get ahead of myself. I think definitely that um, idea I was saying uh, there, if that's the price it is, I'd be happy to pay that. Uh, for Croydon? Yeah. I'd be happy to pay that. It's not my closest option to Fenchurch Street, but it's a good option to get from uh, Barlebone to Victoria. Yeah, and then have dinner at Victoria, and then get down to Croydon and have a good night's sleep, and then wake up. I could probably even get to Fenchurch Street a little early because I was planning to wake up at six, seven. Probably see if there's a hotel for the end of the month down south next month. Next uh, September. Yeah, because I want to do that HST farewell. I know it's uh, it's one of those, isn't it? And that's a job well done. So that must be on the form of pool line. Again. No, for that stretch. Oh, for that stretch. You want to, uh, you want to do that stretch, do you? Yeah. Yes, that is objective complete. Thank you very much. Oh, oh my God, how did we get the gold? I don't know. How on earth did we get the gold? I will never, ever know myself. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you, uh, you enjoyed that one, folks. Uh, and hopefully uh, you'll enjoy next week where we do Spirit of Steam. Um, like I said, it is uh, the final time you'll see it before Christmas. So, uh, get used to it. As you got this far, you're a legend. Do hit that subscribe button oh, yes, if please. you're a legend. Please do hit that subscribe button if you've uh, got this far. Because, like I said, we've put in some really, really long scenarios this um this round but we've already got the next ones booked for uh, next time and there's not uh, they're, they're long but they're not over the hour there's one that's over, two that are over an hour and one that's over two hours so uh, yeah seven it but uh, in the meantime last word to Sheldon because uh, I want to go off and do some repairs but we did ask the question does wet coal burn